Most unusual sunshine spirit quartz. Now this has almost a mustardy coating over it. Uh, core crystal quite typical to the sunshine uh, spirit quartzes would be, or the core quartz would be a milky to clear quartz. And there would be a thin coating of uh, hematite in various ox states of oxidation. In this case the, the, the uh, uh, almost a Dijon mustard uh, color <coughs> would be um, <coughs> Of course, the the hematite, which has uh, which is now oxidized and changed, or pseudomorphed into gerthite, or I don't know if pseudomorph is the correct term. Uh, this guy has lovely form, so we have quite typical central quartz crystal, uh, surrounded by the smaller ones. I enjoy this little one jutting out the side here. Um, very and, and there may be a little bit of chateauancy you'll see on that face if we if we move it around there may be a bit of chateauancy on this as well there's none of the young uh, hematite oxidation here so this is all older hematite which is already uh, moved into gerthite or hematite which is now turned into gerthite as a thin coating for the whole specimen lovely piece all the way from south africa bukna took and surrounds there's even a little color contrast here from a from a, almost a yellow going into an orange absolutely natural of course these are not auras this is uh, made by another mother nature or coated by mother nature not by man and let's have a look here uh, we can't clearly see the core crystal but quite quite lovely look at that Sunshine Spirit Quartz, another masterpiece from the deposits of Bukunatuk in Mampumalanga, South Africa.